Is your cat driving you to suicide? Okay, it might not be exactly driving you there, but his or her litter box could be affecting your mental health. I'm Kimberly Wallison, and that story is right now on Insider's Health News. If you thought that the worst part about your cat was litter box, you just might be onto something. But it's not the hard to grab clumps or the aggressive odor. It may be a breeding ground for an infection tied preliminarily to suicide attempts. The microscopic bug Taxoplasma gondii is actually present in about one third of the world's population. And while many people will never know they have it, and almost everyone affected will not attempt suicide, it is apparently still a cause for concern, especially when it can be found in your feline's bathroom. After a small group of women attempting suicide were all found with raised levels of T. gondii, Dr. Theodore Pastelacci, the director of the Mood and Anxiety Program at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, wanted to know more. He discovered that the critter had already been associated with schizophrenia, and there were even studies that drew a connection with suicide. So he and his colleagues borrowed a group of allergy sufferers in Denmark, looking among the almost 46,000 women used between 1992 and 1995. What he found was that women infected with T. gondii had a 1.5 times higher risk of attempting suicide compared to women with no infection. While Pastelacci is quick to temper any hysteria about litter boxes or cats in general, noting that you have a very likely chance of having T. gondii and never even realizing it, other professionals are looking to use his findings to help with other psychiatric problems. It could really broaden the way that some approach the medical side of mental illness. So don't get rid of your cat just yet, and only try and teach them to use the toilet if you have a lot of free time on your hands. But if you feel any thoughts that are becoming darker than usual, it's not bad to mention your penchant for kittens to your doctor. Check back soon for more of captivating health news. Until then, this is Kimberly Wallston. Stay well.